guys, it's Laura with Quilted Chicken. You'll have to excuse, uh, something strange popped up on the screen and I had to take a look and see what it was, so uh, I had to reorient myself. Um, welcome, welcome. It is September 1st. It's a new month. It's not quite fall, but I'm really, I'm really wishing that it was. It's nice and cool in the morning. I've been really tempted to get out um, in the yard. I'm not a yard person, but we have, um, plants that probably should be tended to um, and, and whatnot, but I'd rather play in the fabrics in the morning. So take a look uh, behind us. We've got some new fabrics that we'll talk about. We've got some new projects. We've got some sneak peek projects um, and some freebies um, to take a look at today. So first off, you can see all the fabrics behind me and I probably should, I'm afraid to move the screen. We're gonna try. Ooh. There we go. You can see a little bit better. The Bountiful Blooms behind me here um, is the new line that's come out from Cherry and Chelsea. Um, it's kind of a late spring, early fall line. You can see you're kind of switching towards towards those um, kind of oranges um, and a little bit deeper green. We've also got the some of the Quaint Cottage from uh, Ginger Burr from Moda. We've got some um, Evermore uh, from Sweetfire Road, and we've got sunflowers in my heart and I cannot remember the designer of this one I like this one this is not a sunflower that I've seen as often so I really like these three colors together this was of course one of my favorites um, the teals and the, the these kind of soft colors but the classic blue and yellow really struck out um, for that and then there's kind of a fun mosaic print I'm not sure if you can I think uh, I'm afraid to pull it out that it might collapse so we'll just um, we'll just go with it from here I'll pull up we'll have some pictures with this just being the virtual newsletter uh, we will have all the pictures and, and um, information in the newsletter that we send out later today I have thought about doing um, and you'll have to tell me what you think a uh, kind of a, a new um, I don't even know what to call it um, matching up fabrics. Sometimes you get new fabrics in and as you can see we don't carry everything um, that we can possibly, um, we don't carry everything. I would absolutely love to. Um, we don't have the space. So I thought about trying to get a, do a Monday matchup and, and figure out, take some of the prints that have come in, some of the new prints and matching them with some of the older things. Um, just because, especially if you're shopping online, if we haven't, if you haven't seen it in person, it's hard to know what it's going to look like. So it's something that, I'm, that I would like to look at doing. If it's something you're interested in, just pop a, um, just pop a comment below and let me know if you would like to see new current fabrics paired up and put with um, different fabrics from uh, different um, different lines, um, different designers, just to try to find stuff, something that matches up and coordinates with, just so that you, it, as fun as it is to buy that brand new fat, fancy fat quarter bundle, um, it, we don't always get to do that. So those, those are some of the new fabrics. A couple of projects um, coming up. You may have already seen this one before. This is um, a mini quilt. It's the pumpk mini pumpkin. It's from the fairy tale pumpkin um, pattern from Fig Tree Quilts. We do have the mini kit um, kitted up. Um, it is a smaller, just a table throw or a little wall hanging. It would fit on your door. Um, it would, um, just a fun little square. I think it's about 18 or 20. Uh, so we've got kits of that. Those are in the shop. This is one of my favorite projects that I have seen. Um, I, it's, a, it's an older pattern from Sandy Gervas for Riley Blake. And um, we got our hands on it and I finally got some stuff put together with it. It is her Let's Pop Corn. Uh, I, think there's, I think she's re-releasing some, some fabrics and kits and information about this. I think it's making a resurgence this year, but this is the Let's Pop Corn. It's two, it's, there's two projects. You can do the table runner, which is actually a really large table runner. It is about 58 by 18, I think. And then there is just a, kind of like a table topper um, or medium sized wall hanging. That one is um, about 40 inches square. But we put together the kind of traditional colors. Um, we did not have, we sold out of the fabric line that she used for this. So this is a curated bundle that we put together um, with stuff that we had in the shop. Uh, the kit is going to come with 20 different fabrics and I think it's about, it's a little bit larger than a charm pack square because obviously if we only have 20 and use the charm pack uh, bundle, you would need um, 
40 prints, which was a lot to try to, to try to put together. So we've got 20, but they're about a 10 inch by five inch section. You've got your stars, you've got your um, the, the parts for the corn, all of that. If this is not your style, um, even though it's the fun traditional um, Thanksgiving fall colors, if you're more modern, uh, I, I really like this colorway. And we've got kits of this one as well. Um, we did the yellow corn with the bright green leaves and then the, the gray and white background just to kind of get some contrast on that. Um, this was really fun if you got a little bit more modern house um, or if you're not quite ready. To, if if not everybody loves the fall colors, not everybody loves that brown and green. So, so we've got those two options. We've also got our pillow kits from Riley Blake have come in um, for November. The October ones are gone. Uh, those sold out, I think, before we even got them in the shop. But this is still a fun fall um, pillow kit. The, uh, as you can see, it doesn't have all the pumpkins on it. The pumpkins were from from the October one. But if you if you wanted to, you could put a, a little frowny face. You could try to transform this one into a Halloween. But this is our November one. So we've got kits for that. A while back, I saw Fancy That Design House, her new line... Um, Dawn on the Prairie came out uh, 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 maybe a month or so, or a month or so ago, um, and she has a real fun big panel that goes with that. Um, I've seen some of the they put together pillows with these because it's a it's a square section. There's four squares, um, and then there's a top and a bottom border which I've cut off, and I'll show you what we've done in a minute because I saw she posted a friend put together for her. A bench pillow um, she cut off the strips that are on the bottom and then the ones on the top and actually used um, the X's that are printed on the fabric um, as a template to do some hand embroidery to do some big cross stitch on that so it was too adorable there's not a pattern but that's something that we're working on so that's our sneak peek for the video we're gonna we're gonna take a look we're gonna get this finished up and do some piecing on the top and bottom to get it to be um, a, a bench pillow size. So we're going to cut apart. We could have two bench pillows. They're a little bit different size, so we'll see. We're, we're going to have a home sweet home, and then we're going to have a my happy place as well. Um, and if you noticed on the, the bottom border, same thing. You could use these for cross stitch if you, if you wanted to do some handwork in the evenings. In fact, a few of the blocks, this one here, has actually got that same printed um, X across the front that you could add, you could add some embroidery to that as well. I love that um, that sort of old style is making a resurgence. Um, if you have, if you are um, in my age category and have gone into um, any of the retail stores lately, you've probably seen things that we wore when we were about eight or nine. But it's fun. My daughter loves all that stuff, and it's it's fun to get to see um, them reshare that. I will also have, we just used a DMC floss for these. Um, I think we have 10 colors, and I actually found the other day there was a secondary light blue that we need to go back and pick. But we will have these colors listed. Um, when we finally get our pillow put together, we will also have this um, kitted up, and we'll have these included in the kit. Hello. Hello, friend. You can't jump on my fabric. Okay, so sneak peek, bench pillow, <gasps> freebie time. Guys, this was um, a free pattern that we put out. Um, I'm trying to think. We did a video. We did a video. If you scroll through our selection, it's the video right before this. It was called um, Sugared Rainbow. And it's a quick mini charm project. This is just a table topper size. It uses one uh, one mini charm pack. Um, we use the Rainbow Sherbet by Sarah Diddy because it just came out. I'm not sure. You may not. No, nope, I don't think you can see it in the background. Nope. Um, so this is a free pattern. It's just a quick little download. Um, it's very basic, simple instructions, uh, mostly talking about the block and then how to, we just added um, sashing with the cornerstone all around and then some of the measurements to get it sized out. Um, if you watched through the video, you saw that I had an oops and so this was not the size that I thought it was gonna be. I was working towards getting a pillow, um, a bench pillow done. 
Um, so we have updated and I um, did another project. So this is the bench pillow size. Um, this is not with the, this, the, this is not included um, on the free pattern, but because the free pattern just has the, the block um, instructions, um, you could use it to piece the blocks and then um, just do the squares differently. It still only takes one mini charm pack. Um, and I think it's just about the same amount of yardage. We did a little bit different um, binding on this one. Um, the, the black, I love the black, but I wanted a little something a little bit softer on the pillow. But guys, that's it. That's our quick little newsletter. We talked about fabric. We talked about um, upcoming projects, some fun fall kits. Um, so that's it. Um, we will have our regular newsletter that will be sent out by email. If you don't get that or if you want to get that, um, you can go to quiltedchicken.com. Scroll down to the bottom. There's a newsletter link. Um, I can also put it in the, at the bottom of the video if, you, if uh, that's something that you want. We'll have all of the links for everything that we talked about as well. So that's it. Um, I'm going to start my Monday off. Um, well, I've started my Monday off doing this, but we're going to, we're going to get some work done. We're going to get some fun stuff done. And, um, since it is Labor Day, we'll, um, do a little bit of labor and then we'll have a little bit of, uh, of fun. So thanks for joining me and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.